Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review on the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. This has been my baby. Like I'm so excited to talk to you guys about this. I've worn this a couple times in my videos, but I just couldn't wait to do the review on this. So let's jump into the review. First of all, it's a cream foundation and it comes in this really awesome packaging. Everybody's been talking about the packaging. It's nice, it's sleek, it's a triangle, which is really unique. And also very functional because you can actually swipe the foundation on a lot easier than just like a rounded cream foundation. You can really get into like the little cracks and crevices of your nose and the different areas of your face like along the hairline. This is a high-end brand. Hourglass is an amazing brand. I love Hourglass as a whole. I love their primers. I love their ambient lighting powders. Their bronzers. I don't think I've ever not liked an Hourglass product. They also sell this new brush, which is their Vanish Foundation Brush, and I love this combo paired together. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I apply this foundation, but my favorite way right now is with the brush. I love the shade selection with these. I'm using the shade Beige. I'll be swatching three other colors for you guys, but I feel like I can get away with like two shades. From the four that I have, None are very pink. They're all more on the yellow olive tone. And I really, really like the shade selection. There's 26 total shades, which I think is really nice. The huge plus to high-end foundations is that you can actually test the shades out in Sephora or at a department store. So I really, really like the shade selection on this one. And I love the brush. I feel like it just buffs the product in. And if you have overtly dry patches on your face, you will not like a brush because it's going to just flake up and it's going to kind of over exfoliate. But if you have normal skin the brush buffs out like no other I typically hate foundation brushes I always 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 use my beauty blender but my favorite way to apply this is swiping it around the face and then buffing it in with this and then going in with a beauty blender just to kind of press everything in it just gives me such a flawless finish I'm so in love with it this is a long wearing foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer but a fluidity of a liquid and the weightlessness of a powder for invisible full coverage and I completely agree with that it literally has the coverage of a concealer it covers up everything and anything that I have on my face but it feels like it already sets when I put it on now I do set this with powder I set all of my foundations with powder even the most matte foundations because if you want your foundation to be transfer proof you do have to set the foundation I never just walk out with foundation on my skin if I want it to last 12 hours like that's just not gonna happen for me so I always set my foundation but this is not the type of foundation that's gonna get really dry or cakey when you do apply powder I've used translucent powder over this I've tried baking over it I've I've tried just using Mac Studio Fix powder like whatever powder I use on top of this it's just gorgeous so it definitely does feel lightweight it definitely has really really good coverage and it is somewhat long-lasting on me this lasts about eight hours after about five or six hours I always check on my foundation and typically I have to like press or apply a little bit more powder in some areas just because I do smile a lot so I get smile lines so I do feel like I have to touch up any foundation I've never found the foundation that I never had to like touch or look at or like press or anything like that but this is on the longer lasting side for a cream foundation definitely long lasting this one as opposed to the makeup forever feels more like satin on the skin it's like a demi matte finish where the makeup forever feels like a true cream when I apply my makeup forever I can feel it kind of sitting on the skin it just is a little bit more heavy but this one is like weightless I feel like I don't feel it on my skin it's just awesome 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 I know a lot of people are complaining about the size versus the price you get 0.25 fluid ounces and this retails for $46 which I know it sounds crazy but this is like pigment in a bottle so I can rationalize that price because for me this has been lasting me quite a lot if you go ham on the face just drawing circles and like layering it up obviously it's gonna wear the foundation stick out I'm like really scared doing this right now I don't want this to break I can keep twisting this up but I won't because I don't want to break it but I feel like because it is so concentrated for me personally foundation is something that I like to invest in it is something that I'm wearing on my face I don't want it to break me out I don't want it to look cakey I want it to wear nicely I want it to look like skin so for me foundation is something that I personally like to invest in so this is an investment I know the price is kind of hefty but if you like high-end foundation I feel like you're gonna love this one I like this better than my La Mer foundation I just love this it looks so good the color is spot on 
I just feel like I look really even with this one on. I just feel really weightless. I feel like I can move my mouth. This foundation is super travel friendly. It fits in a purse. It fits in a makeup bag. It fits when you're traveling. Like, it's just awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. This foundation has two times more pigment than your average foundation, and I honestly can't rave about this enough. I just love how my skin looks. This foundation gives me no flashback. I'll insert some pictures right now on how this looks when photographed. I love how it looks in photographs and on camera, but also, most importantly, in person because a lot of the times on YouTube a foundation will look flawless because of the lights but then in person it looks dry or it looks cakey or it just doesn't look good this is not one of those foundations this looks good in person and that's the most important thing I want someone to be able to walk up to me and not detect foundation like crumpling up or caking up but I still want to have that super full coverage super flawless super airbrush look and I love this this is like my most flawless every day to day foundation it's up there when I want to look airbrushed I use this when I want a quick foundation application I use this so love this I cannot stop raving about it so now I'm gonna jump into the swatches of the shades that I have and then I'm gonna show you how I apply this foundation I cannot be any more happier with it I love 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 it by using the Hourglass Mineral Primer. This is an oil-free mineral veil primer. I like this because it's lightweight. It's good for oily and dry skin. It has like this milky kind of consistency, but I love that it makes my foundation like waterproof. It doesn't do much for pores, but I just feel like it makes my makeup last and I just like how it's lightweight so it's not going to alter the foundation in any way. So I'm going to be using the shade Beige. I can use the shade Sands, but I feel like Beige is just a little bit more neutral. My favorite way to apply it is directly to the face from the foundation foundation stick. If you're into a normal coverage or a light coverage, you totally can just do a couple of swipes and be good to go. But we already know that I'm very extra. I'm just going to go ahead and apply a couple stripes on each side, on the chin, the mustache area, my forehead, the nose, around the nose. And to blend it in, at first, I like using the brush, the Hourglass Vanish Brush. I really like this. I've seen people not like this, but I actually enjoy it, and it's weird because I have dry, normal skin. Usually, I don't like brushes, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of just buff this in. Circular motions, pressing motions, pushing motions, just really getting that foundation into the skin. take my damp beauty blender and I'll just push the product in a little bit more I feel like this is gonna give you a more natural look and although this foundation doesn't feel sticky it still is a cream product so you still want to set it so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I am gonna use Mac studio fix powder just to set the areas that I'm going to be baking on and I'll be right back as you can see, the foundation is traceless. Like, I just look even, I just look full coverage, but I don't look cakey. I love that my face is movable, I don't feel tight, I don't feel any stiffness, like, I don't feel cakey, I don't feel heavy, which is the most important thing for me. I don't want to feel the foundation laying on my skin or sitting on top of my skin. And this one actually, like, sinks in and looks like your skin. So that's super important for me, and I really, really really have been enjoying this one my nose is looking a little funky right now but that's because i haven't really been prepping my skin as much as i should any 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 foundation will do that on my nose if i haven't exfoliated and i haven't used a mask and all that so that's completely normal for me but the rest of my face looks a1. My blush, bronzer, highlight, everything went on so smoothly. I did set my face. For me, I always set my foundations because it just lasts a lot longer. This is the type of foundation though that you can just get away with just using it on its own because when you apply it, it almost kind of like sets itself. It's really strange. But if you want your makeup to last, I definitely, definitely recommend setting it. It can be with translucent powder, pressed powder, any powder. Just so that it doesn't move because again, it is a cream foundation so it will move if you touch it. For a cream foundation, I feel like it does last long, but it doesn't last as long as my liquid foundations, but it's up there in longevity. I don't think I've ever found a foundation that won't change 
over eight hours. Even my Estee Lauder Double Wear, it'll last. But obviously, it can get a little dry. It can get a little cakey in some areas. Your smile lines can peek through. I think that's completely normal with a foundation. I don't have that high of an expectation for the makeup to like not budge at all. But this foundation does wear really nicely. Out of all of my foundations, this one is like top five just because I love how it looks. That's my biggest thing is I want my foundation to look like skin, especially on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, if I want to go super full glam, super full coverage, something that's going to last a really long time, I like the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but for an everyday foundation, this one has been my favorite and because this is so pigmented you only need a couple of swipes but I showed you guys how it looks when you add a little bit more it never looks cakey like no matter how much I apply with this it just doesn't look cakey I tried it with my beauty blender it gives me more of a natural finish but I really really enjoy the foundation brush although I do love my makeup forever HD stick like the finish is gorgeous I feel like it's not very transfer proof like if I hug someone it will transfer so for that I feel like this one wins this one takes the cake for cream foundation I love it more than the cover FX cream foundation this is like my favorite cream foundation the minute I got this and blended it in I knew it was gonna be one of my favorite foundations of all time I know a lot of people are complaining about the size but again you do get high high pigmentation if you're on a budget this foundation will not be the one for you because it is pricey and I would recommend going the Maybelline matte and poreless or the L'Oreal pro matte infallible route but every time I wear this, people compliment my skin. My mom loves this foundation on me. She thinks it looks very natural, very even, just very airbrush looking. And I'm just really, really in love with this. When I first started wearing makeup, foundation was my number one thing that I would invest in. Like even if I didn't have enough money to invest in a lot of high-end makeup, foundation and skincare were like the main two things. Like I needed to have my face as flawless as possible. But don't get me wrong, I do love me some drugstore foundation. Like the L'Oreal Pro Matte Fallible, like... That's my homie, but this one just looks so skin-like. It's not as matte as the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible. This one doesn't wear as long as the Estee Lauder Double Wear on me or the L'Oreal Pro Matte, but I still love it because of the finish. Like, this is my favorite finish of all time. I love the Estee Lauder because it lasts so long. I love the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible because it just looks bomb and it lasts long and it's super cheap. But this is, like, my favorite finish. The finish is natural, but the pigmentation is out of this world. So for that, I give this foundation two thumbs up. I love this stuff. I will continue to use it. And I feel like all skin types can get away with this foundation. If you're oily, you want to use a mattifying primer. If you're dry, you want to prep your skin. But that goes with any foundation. This foundation is more on the demi-matte finish. The Hourglass foundation is 0.25 ounces and the Makeup Forever is 0.44. But honestly, people have to understand that it's a cream product. It's not a liquid product. So the numbers aren't going to be the same like a liquid foundation. I can totally get over the fact that it's 0.25 because this is like pigment in stick form like it's just pure pigment i feel like this foundation also works all seasons winter summer like it's not too dry and it's not too oily i definitely want to go in and pick up a couple more shades maybe some for contouring because i'm just over the moon about this so if you do check this foundation out please let me know what your thoughts are send me a picture of you wearing it or just let me know if you've tried it i just really like it it's definitely worth the investment i just can't get over how bomb this makes my skin look so that completes my review slash demo application Don't don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful. And if you want to check out this foundation, please let me know what other foundations you've been loving this month or this year or just like what's your all-time favorite day-to-day -day foundation. If you haven't seen me use a foundation and you want me to review it, let me know. I will definitely do that for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.